Welcome to this new series from Learn and Gain on ServiceNow Event Management. In this part of event management, we will discuss on the ITOM suite of products. Please subscribe and support our channel to create more educational videos. Just a reminder that this in no way shape or form should be considered as an official training material on the event management module. This is only an attempt to provide basic information on how to configure and implement event management. Please refer to ServiceNow product documentation for most recent updates. ServiceNow IDOM suite of products comprises of applications that can manage and support your ID infrastructure. The IDOM suite comprises of Discovery, Service Mapping, Event Management, Metric Intelligence, Certificate Management, Agent Client Collector, Health Log Analytics, CMDB, Service Graph Connectors, Governance, and so on. Depending on your subscription package, you may have some or all enabled. IDOM packages offered are standard, professional, IIOPS Enterprise. One of the key components of your IDOM suite is your mid-server. As you would leverage mid-server for almost all applications within the IDOM suite for communication. MID stands for Management, Instrumentation and Discovery. This is a Java application that can run on a Windows or Linux machine. The mid-server enables communication and data movement between a customer network and a ServiceNow instance. More than one mid-server can be installed depending on your requirement. Mid-server only requires an outbound connection through port 443 to ensure your connection is secure. Mid-server initiates all its communication using SOAP on HTTPS port 443. As the communications are secure, no special firewall rules or VPNs are required. Mid-servers only make outbound calls to service now. ServiceNow has several connectors that used to have our Groovy scripts, and mid-server connects to these monitoring systems leveraging these connectors. Some of the out-of-the-box connectors are SolarWinds, SCOM, HPOM, IBM Netcool, Zabbix, and so on. The mid-server is also a key component of discovery that query the external communication channel, ECC, and execute the downloaded probe within customer's network. The XML payload information is passed back to the ECC queue, where sensors can process the data further. What is mid-server used for? Mid-servers are used for Discovery, to execute the discovery probes and obtain XML response payloads. Mid-servers are also used for orchestration workflows. Mid-servers are also used for integration with third parties through FTP, LDAP, and JDBC. Event management uses mid-servers to connect to third-party monitoring systems through connectors. Mid-servers can also be used to call web services through REST or SOAP calls. Now, let us take a look at the mid-server configuration. Installation of mid-server will not be covered in this section. The IDOM guided setup can be used to install and configure mid-server. Click continue within the IDOM guided setup to proceed with a step-by-step -step instruction on mid-server configuration, create a mid-server user account and assign the mid-underscore-server role to the user created. Once a user is created, ensure the mid underscore server role is assigned to the user. Download and install the mid server on a Windows or Linux device. Mid-server installation and configuration will be shared in a separate video.
Validate the MID server to ensure it is trusted and test connectivity between your MID server and the instance. Select the appropriate MID server and click on Validate. Once the server is validated, you are good to go. During initial validation, you will have a pop-up to set initial selection criteria. You can save the default configuration or select applications and capabilities as needed. The ECCQ is a connection point between the MID server and the ServiceNow instance. All jobs to be executed by the MID server are placed in queue in ECC until the MID server is ready to handle them. The MID server queries the ECC continually through an event-driven feature called long polling. The MID server opens a persistent connection to the instance through the IMB client and listens on the IMB channel listener. To prevent any connection failures, the MID server polls the ECC queue every 40 seconds, irrespective of IMB message activity. The MID server frequency is configured through mid.poll.time parameter. The MID server also checks with ServiceNow instance hourly to determine if it needs an upgrade. This should provide a high-level overview on MID server configuration and setup for event management. Additional information will be provided during the subsequent lessons. In the next chapter, we will discuss more on discovery and service mapping. Please support our channel by subscribing to create more educational videos. Please visit our website www.learnandgain.in Thank you and have a wonderful day.